This is Michael Lukies from How To Livable. Today I'm gonna to quickly show you how to record a presentation in PowerPoint. Now this is something I do often. Um, this is a part of courses that I publish on Skillshare. I'll record portions of them in PowerPoint and then export those presentations. I can also show you how to do that in this quick video. First, you wanna open your presentation here in PowerPoint. You wanna make sure you're happy with the slides. I would go through them carefully before a recording uh, just to make sure you're talking about what's on each slide um, and you wanna make sure they're final before you're talking about the slides and going through them. Once you have your presentation to where you want it to be and you wanna start recording, then right now we're on the home screen. We wanna go over to slideshow. So click on slideshow. You also wanna make sure you have the most current version of PowerPoint. If you have an older computer, it'd probably be 10 plus years old and you don't have an updated version of um, the Office Suite, like Office 365, then you might not have this capability, um, but you should. I've been recording presentations in uh, PowerPoint for about eight, nine years. Um, so when you click on slideshow, so you are on home screen, when you click on, click on slideshow, you should see the option here that says record slideshow. You can record from the current slide if you just wanna record on one slide or record from beginning. So since I'm on the first slide anyways, I can just click on record from current slide. It will then open up this screen. Now it's giving me this warning message just because I'm already recording uh, using a screen capture uh, video. So I couldn't record on PowerPoint right now as well. If you just wanna go ahead and start recording, you can hit record here, um, but you wanna check out your settings first. You wanna make sure you have your microphone and your camera set up. It should default to uh, your laptop camera if you have one, otherwise you can find an external camera that you've installed there. So this is where you can go ahead and start recording. After you record, you will see a little video pop up in the right-hand corner of your slide. And then if you, want to re if you want to delete any of the videos, you can press this under clear, and then you do clear recordings on current slide. This allows you to go through the presentation, um, record slide by slide, and you don't have to stop recording in between. It will cut them up based on when you uh, press over to the next slide. And then if you mess up, which that is bound to happen, trust me, happens to me all the time, then you can clear recordings just on that slide and you don't have to start all over again. And once you are uh, satisfied with the entire recording, then you can go to file and export and you can create a video here, press create video and then you can save where that video is. It will then save it as a huge chunk. Then I use a video editor to cut that up um, cut out the spaces or places where I might have messed up, um, but I didn't uh, erase that entire video. And that's where you can then take those videos to publish them separately or publish the whole video after you've done some editing to it. So that is how to record a presentation on PowerPoint. If you have any questions, please do comment below. Before we go, I do have three quick tips for you. One is audio. After recording the first slide, before you get too far into recording your presentation, do click on the little video in the right-hand corner of your slide to listen to it. Make sure the audio is loud enough. You can adjust your settings. Make sure you move your mic closer or further away. I have mine just off the screen to make sure it can still uh, catch my sound, my voice uh, pretty well, and I have tinkered with that some. Second tip, is to make sure your lighting is as good as possible. Uh, the lighting in this space isn't too good, so I have a ring light off to my left. Um, you're right if you're watching this video. Uh, that, that shines some extra light. I also open up, I have a little home office, open up the curtains here to let extra light in. The third tip is don't just rely on your slides. Make sure you're giving extra examples. You're being engaging outside of just a PowerPoint presentation. When doing courses, I also add in a few talking head videos, which is just 
just me talking to the camera and not me just in the corner here. Make sure you mix that up to make a really engaging presentation. Also feel free to explain a little bit more than just the text on the slide. Um, one final note is there is also a notes section. So when you're recording, you can look at the notes that you have saved on each slide. And that gives you a little bit more ability to see what you would plan to talk about. Uh, so some text be on the slide. And that will really help you when it comes time for recording. So if this video has been helpful, please do like the video. We'd also love to have you subscribe to the How To Livable channel. Thank you.